sunny weather today again. Fortunately, a lot of shades and trees, I guess, so you don't boil to death in the heat. And with that in mind, what was going on today? I thought this was kind of interesting where it talked about, I guess, controlling drones with lasers. I was like, that's kind of interesting. This one says, QNEC Q to deliver a world's first demonstration of a laser-controlled drone during flight. How does that work, huh? It says, Kinetic Q has delivered the world's first successful demonstration of an airborne, uncrewed platform being controlled via a laser communication system, strengthening military capability for covert, low detection probability operations in the future. The innovative demonstration saw a ground-based operator control an airborne, uncrewed air system transmitting control commands and receiving sensor and platform information that included free space optical communications as a bi-directional link in its mission communication system. FSOC provide very high bandwidth, very low probability of detection communications, low logistical footprint, and the potential to negate the considerable investment that adversaries may have made in denying the RF spectrum. The control of an airborne uncrewed platform has in the past been enabled via use of radio frequency. So it's kind of interesting actually. It makes me wonder if it will become a standard later on. And I guess the other article I read in terms of things like tracking and stuff it was kind of interesting where apparently here they're trying to request that the US block certain, I guess, flight data, including things like the airplanes that fly the prime minister. This one says, Ottawa asked FAA to block military planes, including PM and GG flights from flight trackers. Citing security concerns, the Canadian government has asked U.S. civil aviation authorities to filter Canadian military flights from popular online flight tracking services, a move that has complicated but not eliminated the ability to track the Prime Minister's flight habits. And despite Royal Canadian Air Force flights already being blocked by popular online flight tracking services, a Department of National Defense spokesperson maintains no firm decision has been made to make the request official government policy. So I guess that's a debate, whether or not there's a valid reason to do so, or some people are arguing, are they doing that to cover, I guess, where they're flying all the time for transparency's sake? Like this guy posted here, Nav Canada asked FAA to add their military call signs to the LADD list. So expect the Canadian military to be blocked on FR-24 and FA. So would that be a good idea? Just funny because they always say, oh, track more, I guess, regular civilians, recreational flyers and all that. But this, when it comes to them, nope, don't do it. I guess you could argue it's a security reason at the same time. And there is, I suppose, a valid point on where they're actually flying all the time for transparency. So where's the balance in that sense, per se? For example, in terms of flying things like private jets and all that, I know recently there was this buzz on how there was a like Kardashian or something like that debating or posting online saying which jet should we take and there was all these I don't know reports and how they fly for only maybe three minutes each time or something like that to get to a destination and people are outraged saying for example you're telling everyone else not to do this and that as a protection for the environment as an example yet a rich person is doing this all the time so I'm guessing that's kind of the argument like here in terms of tracking I guess the quote PM to, like see where they fly all the time but who knows how this will end up
Alright, see you guys later.